Puppies are fruit pile. <laughs> Diddy, the hip hop mogul, finds himself embroiled in a storm of controversy following federal raids on his properties amidst a sex trafficking investigation. The drama unfolded with high stakes as Diddy's associates, Brendan Paul, was arrested at Miami Airport, allegedly carrying drugs linked to him. While initial reports suggest Diddy might have fled the country on his private jet post raid, Subsequent footage revealed his pacing at an airport, seemingly waiting for his jet. Because he has no chill. He has won the internet right now. He is a committed hater, as they say. And he has every reason to be, because he said it from the beginning that Diddy was no good. Kim Porters said her piece, and unfortunately, rest in peace to her, because she, she's seen everything from above. But it sounds like you're expressing admiration for 50 Cent's social media post particularly his commentary on Diddy. You believe 50 Cent's criticisms are justified, given the various allegations against Diddy that are now coming to light. But Cassie said the same, Aubrey O'Day, people have been telling us for years and nobody was listening. And finally, it's coming to light because what you do in the dark always comes to light about... You mentioned that others like Kim Porter and Casey have also spoken out against Diddy in the past and their warnings are now being validated. You see this as deserved downfall for Diddy, and are eagerly watching the development unfold. His dealings. So, we're all just gonna sit here with our motherfucking popcorn, and hold, and enjoy every second of it. You never like to see anyone go on a downfall, but guess what? He deserves it. After everything that he's done, this is R. Kelly 2.0. I mean, come on, like you got this coming to you. So I do not feel sorry for you. I do not feel sorry for the fact that you fled. Comparing the situation to R. Kelly's scandal. You've also anticipating potential revelations about other celebrities like Beyonce and Jay-Z. Overall, you're enjoying 50 Cent's candidness and the unfolding drama. This touches upon the tragic death of Notorious B.I.G., a.k.a. Biggie Smalls. Another rap legend implying that Diddy and Jay-Z might have been involved in his murder to eliminate competition and boost their careers. It presents testimony from individuals close to Biggie, including his former bodyguard, Uncle Ron, who claims Diddy offered him money to orchestrate Biggie's murder. And the Puffy clip. wanted Biggie killed. Bottom line. You don't have to believe me. Believe the facts. Diddy is pure evil. He has a very nasty disposition. He treats everybody like crap. It also highlights the suspicions held by Biggie's mother, Valette Wallace, who believes there was a conspiracy to kill her son. 50 Cent is stirring up controversy by claiming to have insider knowledge about Diddy's alleged secret activities. He suggests that male escorts and some well-known rappers attended Diddy's notorious freak-offs. This comes in the wake of a lawsuit filed by Casey, Diddy's ex-girlfriend of 11 years, who accused him of severe abuse, including drug use, physical assaults, and disturbing activities with male escorts. Casey's relationship with Diddy began in 2005 when she was 19 and ended in 2018. Despite Diddy denying these allegations, many remained skeptical due to the numerous accusations against him. Diddy sent blackmails Jay-Z Diddy with new disturbing party footage. Hold on to your seats as Fiddy sent blackmails Jay-Z and Diddy revealing new disturbing party footage in his exclusive expose. Jay-Z's career, you can look at that as say the association to Beyonce, is when we started to receive the 16 months to get 16, 17 grams since. You see what I'm saying? So he had to say, yo, nobody first scared of 50. Let's get this clear. Nobody is scared of 50. You know, but I'm not the issue. Oh, it was, it was Puffy with, with, uh. Who are you talking about? Cassie? Maybe now? Cassie? Hey, Cassidy. Cassie yeah, was, Cassie has some ill photos too, but those are phone right. photos. When I get to him, the deal's happening without style. He don't got nothing to do with this shit. So now he's like, oh, well, you know, like, Try to be cool with me, and I'm like, yo, it's mom, it's a right? Pop was like, yo, so yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like, we can just hang out. Why don't we, like, go shopping or some shit? I mean, like, I pay for it. And I was like, what the f this nigga just say? This <laughs> <laughs> shit that goes off. Well, there's your little fruit, but Pop is a fruit pile. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you the truth, but the truth sometimes it hurts. Right. It hurts people and they don't want to hear that shit, but uh, I'm trying to tell you now. 
ask me, could he take me shopping? And it fucked me up, because I'm looking like, it's just like, I want to take you shopping. In this explosive revelation, 50 Cent shares shocking details about the alleged actions caught on tape that have sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry. The video is disturbing. Just released surveillance footage from 2016 showing what appears to be Diddy violently assaulting then-girlfriend Cassie. In the video obtained by CNN, Diddy, seen in a towel, strikes Cassie and after dropping to the ground, she is kicked twice from behind. Diddy then attempts to drag her away from the elevator bank. Later in the footage, it appears Diddy shoves Cassie in the corner, then throws an object in her direction. The scandal unfolds as he exposes disturbing party footage of Jay-Z and Diddy raising questions about their behavior behind closed doors. Join us for the latest celebrity gossip and scandals as 50 Cent dishes on the unsettling truth about the exclusive footage, delivering an unfiltered account that will have you questioning the dynamics within the entertainment world. In the interview, Jaguar Wright delves into a series of shocking accusations against various figures in the music industry. She implicates Clive Davis, alleging he manipulated and controlled artists like Whitney Houston and her daughter, Bobby Christina exerting undue influence over their careers and personal lives. You know, what I will say is, is this, when you're the kind of manager that would uh, pay your client to be quiet about a, to save a tour, and then um, nuke their career, tell everyone that they're crazy and ostracize them, because they disagreed with being quiet about it. When you're that kind of person, uh, that employs the same group of dealers that you've been working with for the past 25 years and out of nowhere, people just keep dying of overdoses. You know, it, it, it kind of pisses me off that all of these artists have died from overdoses and nobody really bother to take the time to look at the toxicology reports. He's a queen. Okay. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. Most queens want to be black women. So he's like a yes type, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> On the low. Right claims Davis may have orchestrated Whitney's demise to gain control over her estate. Clyde took over managing Whit. I mean, she, he had been a part of her life, damn near all her life. He had his post on that bloodline, yo. Heavy. See, all rock stars are drugs and alcoholics anyway, so why bother to do an extensive check? Easiest way to get rid of a difficult artist. And she accuses him of being involved in various unethical and criminal activities. I've been being followed for the past month and a half. By who? Various people different places. Um, I if you were to come up missing or dead, I, who it? If you were to come up missing and dead, who did it? Tell us. Can't tell you who done it. I can tell you who wanted it. This includes drug-related incidents and exploitation of artists. She also suggests connections between Davis and other prominent figures like Jay-Z and Diddy, hinting at a network of power and corruption within the music industry that she believes needs to be exposed. Federal agents raided Sean Diddy Combs' Los Angeles and Miami homes as part of a human trafficking investigation coordinated out of the Southern District of New York. Law enforcement sources are telling ABC News that right now authorities are carrying out searches at properties associated with P. Diddy. This is all part of a federal investigation into human trafficking. They also say that this investigation has been ongoing now for several months. They add our sources that an arrest does not appear to be imminent at this time, but what you are looking at right now is live video of one of these uh, searches being conducted. Now, this is a search that is happening at Sean Diddy Combs' Los Angeles homes is in the Beverly Hills area. With the significant law enforcement presence in Beverly Hills and simultaneous searches in Miami, the investigation's ongoing several months. 
require substantial evidence to justify the searches. So what do you make of the fact that they've decided to carry out these two searches simultaneously and on other sides of the country here? So, Kayla, you're right. I've been talking to those about this for too long. But what, what does it get you? What does a person need to have the ability to search a home? Probable cause. So what I'm doing is I'm looking backwards. How could a judge grant the ability to search these two homes and why would you do it simultaneously? Probable cause being the belief or at least having the quantity of information that a crime either did happen, is happening, or is going to happen. Former FBI agent Brad Garrett highlighted that such actions aim to uncover direct evidence of an alleged crime, while attorney Brian Buckmeyer noted that this makes a significant escalation, possibly indicating the start of a more extensive investigation. Since we don't know, Kenna, what they're looking for, I can give you a list of what I think they're looking for, uh, is that you have to have a crime scene search vehicle to go in to, with the various things you need to do to search. So, you know, quickly, let's... Why did the, why were they able to go in there? To Brian's point, how did they convince a judge to go in there? You have to have a link directly to these two houses. In other words, do they have video of of these some of these acts that are being alleged in either location or both locations? Lawyers for the accusers express hope that these actions would lead to accountability for Combs.